Hi everybody, it's Steph Mishuk with Killer Sites and StudioWeb.com. In this video, I want to talk about which programming language, if you have to pick one, which one should you learn today? Short answer, it's uh, PHP. And I'm choosing PHP not necessarily because I think it's the greatest language ever created. No, it has its problems like any other programming language. And the choice of programming language has a lot to do with personal taste, and personal needs uh, of the application in question. As I, I've mentioned this before, depending on the project that you're working on, certain languages will be more uh, favorable to it than others because each programming language has its own thing that it's pretty good at. Uh, PHP's competitors include Ruby, Java, uh, C Sharp, and there are others. Uh, don't confuse Java with JavaScript. They're totally different languages and they have totally different use, uh, total different uses. Or as the, nerds would say, as the nerds would say, totally different use cases. Now, if I'm squinting, it's because the, the sun's in my eyes and, you know, so anyway. So why PHP? Uh, a few reasons. Number one, because it's the most popular web scripting language out there. Uh, all these huge sites use it, and for the vast majority of projects, people lean on PHP because it's so accessible. When I'm talking, when I'm talking about big sites, I'm talking about Yahoo. I'm talking about the biggest is Facebook, uh, uh, not Twitter. Twitter uses Ruby. Um, a whole bunch of sites use uh, PHP. It's the most popular web scripting language, so this is the one you want to use. Uh, and that's for the server-side programming. That, what I mean by that, that's for the programming languages that you use on the server. That's the language that is used to communicate with the databases, the databases directly, and do all the fancy processing on the server. On the front end, the programming language that's used in the web browser to do things like create animations, um, validate forms, etc., what you want to use, of course, is JavaScript. There once was, well, there is another option. Well, not really, but because it, it only works in IE, and that was VB script back in the days. But that's dead. Forget about that. I didn't even mention that. You want to learn JavaScript for sure, and you want to learn PHP. Am I saying PHP is better than Ruby? No. Am I saying PHP is better than Java? No. But I think overall it's the best option because, A, it's easy to learn, because there's both the easy to understand procedural part of PHP, which is the old, the old school, the old style of programming, and it's just easier to learn that. And procedural programming, although it's fallen way out of favor, and ultimately you're gonna to have to learn object-oriented programming, it's a good way to get your feet wet to first learn programming is to learn procedural programming because there's, there's a lot less to learn. Um, again, I'm not advocating procedural programming, although it can be useful for small small projects. It's great for that. Uh, but if you jump to, let's say, another language like uh, Java, which is object-oriented, for the most part, um, it's, it's a lot harder to learn because there's so much more you have to learn, uh, so many more concepts and so on. So if you're new to programming, you're better off to approach it with something like PHP because it's got that that easy uh, way of approaching it. And the other advantage with PHP, you also have the advanced way. You can, you can uh, uh, once you've graduated, if you will, from the easy to understand procedural methodologies, you can move into the object-oriented way of programming. It's got that flexibility. Another reason I would choose PHP is because, as I mentioned, it's so widely used, but it's also very fast to program with. It's, you know, Ruby is equivalent because they're both scripting languages, which is a type of programming, versus, let's say, Java or C Sharp. Java is C Sharp, very powerful, very capable, but again, steep learning curve, harder to learn, and the code is a lot more verbose, meaning you've got to you write a lot more code to get things done, and you've got to set up a lot more stuff to get things done. So, yeah, there you go. If you're teaching web programming and you're looking... You're trying to decide what language to teach, Ruby or PHP. They're both good, but in my humble opinion, it would be easier to teach PHP uh, to begin with. And even if the ultimate goal is to get somebody into Ruby, there's an argument for actually teaching beginners PHP at first because a lot of the concepts in PHP 
can will will flip right into Ruby or Java C sharp uh, later on because a lot of this stuff is the same thing. So uh, there you go. That's my quick little video blog. Ciao.